everybody, it's Keith. I'm here in Life Journey Production Studio. I'm really excited today to be unboxing the ATM Streaming Bridge by Blackmagic Design. That's right. They have been making headway all around the world with their products for streaming. So if you do a home studio, a business studio, if you are doing a production studio, live production, you can do um, some amazing things now with the streaming bridge. Uh, lots of people will be using this to send a separate signal to a projector when they're doing live events or to a big screen, an extra monitor for um, whoever you're doing the production for to view what's happening. You can send this as an extra signal throughout your house or your production room or your business in the internal network and you can stream out to it in an external network and that's why it only works with the uh, ATM Mini Pro ISO and the ATM Mini Pro because they have Ethernet ports and so it does not work with the ATM Mini. So we'll be right back and we will unbox this little gem. Well, welcome back. Let's tear open the box and see what's inside. So um, it's just, it's actually in a little plastic box here. Um, unbox this inside the box. You have this welcome card. You see that right there. Some stickers. And again, DaVinci Resolve um, 16. And actually there's an update now. I think this is actually out of date. And um, you also have a power cord right here, popped out of the box. Here is this ATM streaming bridge. You can see about what size it is based on my hand. Um, that's the ethernet port. You have an RFN, so you can do um, some control there. You have SDI reference in right here. And then on this side, you have HDMI, you have SDI out here, and you have SDI out here. And then you have a USB-C port right here to be able to do updates and things like that. So again, the main feature is that you can come out of the ATM Mini Pro and ISO and go directly in here, or you can go out into a network out of your ATM Mini Pro and ISO and then attach this to the network as well, and then link those things up. And you also have the dip switches here. So you could have a number of these. Two of these dip switches are um, spoken for, um, but the other ones you can use to have multi um, versions of the ATM streaming bridge um, in another location. So great for social distancing. You could use the number of these uh, in any kind of setting. And then on the back, you have the ability to um, write down what you're using those switches for. So you could name the different bridges that you have. So again, the ability to use multi um, ATM streaming bridges by changing the, again, these dip switches right here. And um, again, uh, two of those are designated, but that's the streaming bridge. And you can see it's very nice quality. Um, you got two screws there and two screws here to access inside. Got a nice power cord. This will hook in right here. And it's a screw in pow power cord. I did not get a threaded one when I bought my ATM Mini Pro. So it's really nice to have that. And then obviously you have your different adapters um, for your different locations for power. Obviously I'm here in the United States. So we will pull out um, the one for here. There you go, it snapped in. And now I'm ready to go, ready to hook it up. So we're gonna hook this up to my ATM Mini Pro. Again, this does not work with the ATM Mini. Um, you must have the uh, ATM Mini Pro or the ATM Mini ISO to be able to use the ATM 
streaming bridge. And again, some great ways to use this is you could come direct out if you wanted to, right out of the ATM Mini, like if you're doing a product demo or other reasons that you may want to um, use it as a webcam and then have another monitor as you're using your ATM Mini as a webcam, you'll have this extra app access to another monitor. There's a little latency and we'll test that here shortly. Or you can hook this up to your network through the ethernet port and um, then use the software to be able to locate it inside your network. And then you can actually send your signal to this as well as you're sit sitting your live signal out um, over social media. And then you can actually have an SD, two SDI outs. So for instance, I could take this into my HyperDeck, which I'm gonna do, and I can record right out of the HyperDeck. So I have my signal program coming in, and then I can come out of this and go into my HyperDeck and record that way as well for a backup recording. Or I could use this to go to my um, my Porta Keys monitor, which I'll show you that as well. So that's the box. Jay, let's test it out and see how it works. We saw the unboxing of the ATM Mini Streaming Bridge, and now I want to give you a little demo. Um, I have my monitor here. This is my Porta Keys, and um, we're hooked up to the ATM Mini right now through HDMI as well as SDI. I want to demo the latency on both of those. And then I have my power cord hooked up. The only thing we don't have is we don't have ethernet hooked up yet. So let's hook it up into my network by plugging in this cable. Give it a second, set it there, turn my monitor on, and then let me show you the software here. So here is the software and where you would set up the streaming bridge is you can go right up here to file and you can go to connections and then we want to hook up so this is what it would look like if you um, go to page two so there is my atm mini pro here is page two it shows you the atm streaming bridge um, i'm not live right now so there's no data going on right here um, here are your two setting screens. This is where I'm going right now through a local network without a key. You could also go local network with a key. Um, and you could also go out to the internet. That would be for streaming outside of your location. So this is already set up to stream here so inside the network. But if I was going to go to internet, then I would go over to this new tab. And down here would be the settings. I can rename the streaming bridge, then I would save this information um, and load it into my ATM Mini Pro or my ATM Mini ISO or whatever other equipment you're using that you can stream from to the ATM streaming bridge. Then I would save the settings. And then once I'm ready, I'm going to go back into the regular software um, and close this window. Then I can go on the air. And here's where the streaming bridge is selected. Um, and we'll go off the air and show you this real quickly. So you have Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, Periscope, um, Restream, IO. Then I have this streaming bridge. This is what I'm working on for streaming outside of my local network. Um, and that will demo here shortly. But this is what you would connect on if you were going to stream to the bridge right here in the studio. Click on the air. Um, and um, so it shows that we are now streaming. Go back into the setup software and you can see that I have it streaming now at 1080p. I'm on the air at 29.97 um, frames per second and that's the bit rate. And um, then if you were to go into the settings here, um, all of this is adjustments that I could make right now on the fly if there was any um, issues as I was streaming. And um, so close this out, go back to the regular software, and now we're live. So I turn on my monitor and um, go into the Porta Keys, and we should have a photo, and there you go. So I am set right now for um, HDMI. So here's the latency on the HDMI, one, two, one, two, three. 
one, two, three. So you can kind of see thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. So it has about a one second delay and then we'll switch over from HDMI to SDI. Give you a little bit better close up of this on SDI and here's the latency. So 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. So it's about a one second delay um, on the streaming bridge. And again, you can see that we have ethernet hooked up. On this side, got the power cable, HDMI, and then I have just one of the two SDI outs hooked up to my Portakeys monitor. And um, there you go. So we are streaming directly to uh, the Portakeys monitor right now through the streaming bridge and you can see there's not that much latency. So if you were doing a training inside of your building and you needed to broadcast to more than one office space inside, then you would just see that one second delay, which would be great um, in that kind of setting. Or if you were streaming to another venue, like let's say you have a church and you wanna have people in multiple rooms, then um, you could be streaming through the ATM streaming bridge into another venue so you could have more people in a service or uh, any other venue that would use something like that. So again, uh, I think it's a great tool. Uh, I can see how we could use this to stream to um, a uh, TV station right from our home production studios by them just having an ATM streaming bridge. And so I could say that if I had an interview on the local TV station, I could have a setup in my software um, right here, go back to this. And so one of these would be, we'll go off the air here. One of these then would be that TV station. And I would just pick that ATM streaming bridge TV and change over to that go on the air and then I would be streaming once all the ports and everything are set up and the ATM streaming bridge is at their location, then I would be able to stream live right to their station, which is a great idea when you think of it. So again, an amazing little tool for us to use in our productions. Uh, you could also use it um, to record directly to a HyperDeck studio. And so we'll demo that coming out of the other SDI. So I could go to my Porta Keys monitor um, or to an HDMI big screen display, and then also go out to my Stream Deck, um, Hyper Deck Mini, sorry, and um, record at a very high resolution to it and have that backup recording and then still record to my SD um, on the back of my ATM Mini Pro. So again, ATM Mini Pro, ATM Mini ISO, can use the ATM um, streaming bridge and you just have to learn how to set it up and get things going and use your local network in your home or go outside through a worldwide network hub. So I hope this uh, unboxing and this little demo has been enlightening to you. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, please do like this video as well as ring the bell for future videos on the ATM Streaming Bridge, the ATM Mini Pro, and many other tools that we use here in Life Journey Production Studio. So until then, I am Keith, and we will see you in the next video.